In this video, I'm going to be explaining mostly to myself, so some of my own notes, how to get uh, textures and things from Quixel's bridge into Maya and then be able to get them into Unreal afterwards because there's a few steps that we kind of got to touch. So first of all, go download bridge. Ta-da, that's going to be important. Uh, there are a couple of links. These are the links. I'll leave these on screen so you guys can kind of see what's going on in here. And then these are the links to them. So this is installing Maya into uh, or sorry, this is installing Bridge and getting it up and running inside of Maya. So this is part one. Uh, later, you will absolutely have to set it up so that it'll actually go to Unreal as well. So there's this video too. So that's what those two links were for. So those are going to be important, but then let's walk through this. So let's go over to Bridge. Now that we're in Bridge, let's assume that I want to take one of these pieces and I want to put it into my game. But I want to look at it inside of Maya first because that's where I'm going to be creating a lot of these pieces. And then I have to get over there. So we have to do this kind of twice. So eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go into nature and let's choose, oh, I don't know this one because I don't think I've downloaded this one yet. Perfect. Cool. So we'll kind of start from the beginning. So asset info. That's fine. We're going to go into the download settings and I'm going to set my resolution to 2K because I'm not doing this for like production. This is just for to test it out. And then over here under the material preset, I'm also going to leave this on Unreal 4 because I want to bring over things like albedo, uh, displacement if I really need it. Don't really think I need that one actually. So the normal and then the AO and the roughness. Uh, down here in the global settings, we can of course set these two. So surfaces, 2K material preset. Let's set this to Unreal 4. And no, I don't need displacement. I'm not going to be doing displacement uh, for this project. So it's not that big of a deal. We'll leave that one. Also check these as needed. Cool. Now, let's go ahead and download this one. So this will download to a very specific location, and when I installed Bridge, it already did all of that, so that's good to go. Once I've got it downloaded, da -da, I will get a new tab up here that says Export Settings. Now here, uh, we can export to, and right now it's set to the Unreal Engine. I'm gonna change this to Maya, because I wanna see it in Maya first. Okay, so texture resolution, still at 2K. Uh, texture format, Targa. In this case, it doesn't really matter because I'm just previewing it inside of Maya anyway, so we could do JPEG and yay, good to go. Um, it will then give you this little spot right here. So what we want to do is we want to copy this. Yay, it was successfully copied. And we're going to go over into Maya and boop, down here at the bottom, we want to change this from Mel to Python and then just paste that in there and then hit enter. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna do it here. What that will do is create a new uh, little tab up here at the top and it, you'll get a little message, but if you click this, this message will come back up. It says apply material to selection. If you want it, you want it. If you don't, you don't, whatever, it's up to you. This is turned on, this is turned off, turned on, cool. So we'll close that down. I don't necessarily want it applied to this. Uh, I might want it applied just in the world, so I'm not going to apply it to the selection. But now these two can talk to each other. Let's go back over into Bridge. There we go. Come on now. Cool. So now I can go ahead and say Export. Again, global settings are right here if you need to change things. So we'll say Export. We'll get this little message up here at the top that says Exporting. Yay, it's successfully exported. So let's go back over into Maya. So we'll go over to Maya, and inside of here, let's open up the Hypershade. Zoop. And we will see that we now have this ground rustic, or ground rubble. This, let's go ahead and just map this so we can see what's going on here. So we do have our little 2D texture node. We have our roughness, we've got our normal, we've got our albedo down here, and that's all attached. Good to go. So let's go ahead and attach this to one of these guys. So middle mouse, click and drag, drop it on there. Yay, now I can actually see that on there. And I can, of course, change my repeat so two and two and then it repeats it there yay so cool we have an interactive way we can see what this is going to look like this is set up to be rendered inside of arnold this is explained and demonstrated very beautifully in this video you can actually see how well this renders and how to actually set this up so this will become really important and of course this does work as well for 3d objects not just materials so there's that part of it now when i go to export this out of Maya to get it into the Unreal Engine, I don't want to take those materials with me. One, I've tested it and it didn't work. All it brought over was a blank albedo that was kind of pink. Not what I was hoping for. So when we export these, select the object, and then we'll just go into the game exporter. I've got that one right there. And I'm going to turn this embedded media off. Just turn it off. Also, I just want to export just the selection, so I'll make sure that that's there too. Turn it off. Set my, you know, my... Uh, all these settings as needed. Moved to origin will be awesome. XBF, FBX is awesome there. I've set up a folder specifically within my project so that this will go into a very specific location so it's easy to find later. And then give it a name 
and then just go ahead and say export. Do I want to replace it? In this case, yeah, because I've already got it set up. Export successful, perfect. Um, not sure what's going on down here, but I don't care because I'm not doing a bump map anyways, so I'm going to completely ignore that. Let's go over into the Unreal. Oh, I lied. No, let's do Unreal first. All right, so over here, uh, da, 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 I would come into my static meshes, and then I would go ahead and import this piece in. When I import these things in, um, what I want to do is to make sure that, let's just grab, ooh, I don't know, let's say that one real quick. Um, Auto-generate collision, up to you guys how you want to set that up. McT space, I'm just going to leave that as is and go ahead and close this down. Um, I do not want to create materials. This is the important part. And I do not want to bring in my textures, so forget about it. Don't use them. Don't need them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and say import. This will bring it in. This will bring in just the mesh. And this one, someone's got funky UVs, right? Yeah, these are garbage. So cool. This is just bringing in the mesh. Uh, because of if you have materials set up to be multiple materials, if you have multiple materials on your objects inside of Maya when you send them over, you will see them over here, which can be good to know. Now, I want to bring in that material. So to bring in that material, we have to make sure that or that bridge is set up to actually export to there. So right now my export settings are set for Maya. I don't want that. I want to bring this into Unreal. So like I said, we got to do this twice. So export to Unreal. Choose the engine. Currently I'm running at 425. I can't wait for five. It's going to be amazing. So future me is happy. <laughs> installation folder this you need to set it where it's actually being installed now i've got mine set in a very specific location y'all will probably be able to find it the default location will be in your c drive program files epic games and then you'll find it in here that's not where it is on mine mine's actually in the d drive so d drive unreal games 425 go into engine come down into plugins and then say select folder so it's actually grabbing the plugins folder I've already got that set, so it's good to go. Now, I want this to send to my specific project. So to set it to that project, click this area right down here, and then find your project. And mine is located on the D drive. It is in Unreal Projects. And currently I'm working in this modular scripts for right now. So double click that, and then choose your content folder, or double click it, and then make sure it's choosing that folder, and then say select folder. Once that's set up, now this thing should send it directly to where you want it. Oh, also we want to use targets while we're in Unreal. Come on, y'all, let's be serious about this. So then we can hit the export. You'll get a little message up here at the top. Let's see if we get any errors. It should be good to go. Yay, successful, cool. So let's close this down. Ooh, hey, Unreal's doing some stuff in the background. Perfect, so it's doing a thing, huzzah. So now when we come over to Unreal, we will have a new mega scans, okay? And we will have our presets. This is like the master material that lives inside of here. And then there's some functions. They've just added some cool stuff as its latest version. Oh, it's so awesome. So let's go ahead and grab our ground rubble. And then we've you can see we have our material. And then we've got each of the maps as needed. So let's open this one up. Let's slide it over here. And what's awesome about this, this has got some cool stuff inside of it. So let's talk about this. But this is ready to go. I can literally go ahead and let's grab that static mesh that I just brought in. Let's open up ground A, and then in here, whoop, do it this way. Drag that onto that one, cool. And then we can also drag that static mesh into the world, like so. And let's move it way over here so we're seeing it just by itself. Close that one, let's save that one, and then close it. Now this material, a little bit about the material, that'll be about it. Oh good, not too long, maybe 10 minutes. This very top one up here, this global, is kind of what you're going to want to use, is what you're going to want to use as of this version that has your tiling in it. Okay, so tiling offset. So you can set your X and your Y and your offset if you want it to slide over a little bit. Okay, and there is also a rotation in here as well. Um, this is where you're going to be able to control all that. Of course, we can do the little yellow arrows. To send those back. Oh, we do need a one and a one. There we go. Ta-da. So there it is. So from start to finish, download Bridge, get it installed, set it to export to Maya so you can see what you're working on, export your object, then bring it into Unreal, and then export that same material a second time into your Unreal project, 
and then attach it to your object, and then you can use it as needed.